Hallelujah. The father of all fathers. The one that has been in existence before anyone came to be. And the one that will be when everything ends. Hallelujah. We salute your awesome majesty. Our heavenly father. Daddy, we glorify you. You are the best father. Glory and honor be to your name. And I want to say happy Father's Day to all our fathers. And the fathers to be in the house. Praise the name of the Lord. We say happy Father's Day. This Father's Day 2019 is not a coincidence. It is an honor 90 service Sunday again. God wants to give you a double dose. I said to the men, God wants to give you a double dose. In the mighty name of Jesus. For some of you who are crawling spiritually, it is time that you will start to move at the speed of heaven. Even your wife will wonder and say, what came over this man? It is your father's great gift. The Lord of unusual wonder is giving you power to overcome everything that has wearied your soul. As everything that has overwhelmed you, and you look back and you wish, oh Lord, I wish I could just turn the tide around. I wish I could just turn, you know, turn the calendar back to this year. The Lord is fast forwarding it and is replacing every sorrow with joy in the mighty name of Jesus. I will briefly speak on the parameters of our God. Just a little bit. Because no one can exhaust his parameters. And parameters are the things on which a man operates. Things that are peculiar to that person. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, most of the time we hear it in statistics and maths. But then our God has parameters. The things that makes him unique. Praise the name of the Lord. And the first thing that I want to talk about our father is in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 11. Ephesians 1 11. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. Praise the name of the Lord. The one who does what? Who works? Work at all things. After the counsel of his own will. Praise the name of the Lord. Sometimes we, things happen and you wonder, why is this like this? He's the one that worked out things according to his own will. Whatever he wishes. So for the mere fact that I do not qualify for something, humanly speaking, does not mean that the one that sits in heaven, the one who does everything at his own will, cannot make me get that thing. Praise the name of the Lord. I stand as God's child. I have received some blessing that I do not qualify for. Praise the name of the Lord. I have received some goodness that each time I remember, I look and I say, it can only be God. And I say to somebody in this house this afternoon, this morning, that God can do whatever he wills, regardless of what the doctor's report says. I appreciate our medical professionals. I really appreciate them. They're doing a very, very, very great work. But you know our gods can bypass them sometimes. One sister gave me a testimony. She told me, she said the, the, the doctor that told her that it is impossible for her to carry a child was the same doctor when she became pregnant was saying until this baby comes forth. We don't believe that it is a baby. But when the baby came out, it was the same one that said, this can only be God. Hallelujah. I say to somebody this day, the Lord will tear up 
everything that is not working according to the order of God in your health. You will go back to the same doctor. They will take the test again. And they will say, they can't find it. You will go and say, no, I want to another second opinion. And they will say they cannot find it. One sister had HIV. She was in church. And the man of God just came as we, you know, just, just as we are having this service. And he said, he had that thing in his spirit that this lady has HIV virus. And he called her and said, the Lord heal you. Amen. See, before, as she was calling the sister, because the pastor knows that our sister is HIV positive, <coughs> was telling the minister, the man of God, please, don't go near her. Don't let her come near you. So the man of God kept on, you know, he was just doing, saying his, under the action of the Holy Ghost. Then he immediately came back, came by the, you know, the, me, uh, the pastor and said, she has full-blown AIDS. You can't come near her. The man of God said, I hear you. And prayed for the sister. And told her, go back and do the test. She went back. She took the test. She was on medication prior to that time that was sustaining her. She said, stop the medication from now. Went, took the test. They came back. They said, no, they could not find anything. No. They, it was an uproar. No, it is a lie. The doctor said it cannot be. We saw the medications and all the this thing. They started, they brought the file again. They said, is this the wrong person? You, maybe, maybe you took the, the wrong blood. You took the wrong. They ordered another thing again. They did it again. Nothing. They become worried. What is going on? Went to another hospital and said, this is the situation. I am positive. HIV positive. The doctor ran that test again. Nothing. By the time she went to the third person, left the old you know, neighborhood and went far. Nothing. She came back. She could not stand in front of the congregation. Some things that you cannot even share with your pastor. That you are carrying and you are aboring under that cloth. This day, ever we visit it. She was able to now stand and say, praise the Lord, brethren. I was HIV positive for years. Everybody was looking. Praise the name of the Lord. He said, but you remember that day that the man of God prayed for me. I went back and I've done series of tests, nothing. And I've not taken the medication from that day. What can our God not do? The one who worked all things after the cancer of his own will. Not the cancer of man. Praise the name of the Lord. Not the cancer of your mother or your father. Because Jabez's mother was the one that cursed him. Hallelujah. Amen. I said not according to the counsel of your mother or your father. Because it was Jabez's mother that cursed him. And said, child, you will be called sorrow. According our God, the one that worketh all things, according to his own counsel, his own will, his own will. Praise the name of the Lord. The parameters of our God. Our God is the only one who sits on the throne of the universe. Hallelujah. Amen. I say our God is the only one who sits on the throne of the universe. Not as the president of China or Nigeria or Ghana. Praise the name of the Lord. But our God is the one who sits. Hallelujah. Amen. He sits as president. In Georgia, sit as president in Chicago, sit as president in Washington, D.C., sit as president here. As we speak right now, the only one who sits on the throne of the universe. When I got that revelation, I told myself, I said, There is nothing, there is nothing. That this God cannot do. 
Sit on the throne of China. Sit on the throne of South Africa, Morocco, Tanzania. Hallelujah. At the same time, the ruler of the universe, what can he not do? What can he not say? Who can he not dethrone? Who can he not kill? Who can he not bring out? Who can he not deliver? What can he not do? Hallelujah. The only one who sits on the throne of the universe. His supremacy is unrestricted. Hallelujah. His supremacy is what? It's unrestricted. I say to her, you are harassed. All those who have been harassing you, from now you will go from today. And you will say, my God, sit on the throne of the universe. Therefore, I destroy you, you harasser. Hallelujah. My God, sit on the throne of the universe. Somebody cooked something for me. They planned it while I was away. And I, I was uncomfortable in my spirit. I knew that something was wrong. And I had peace. I was in Nigeria. And the Holy Spirit just told me, by the time you get back, you will see what has been done. And as I was coming back in, the day I resumed back at work, in the elevator as I was coming out, one of my colleagues said, have you heard? I said, heard what? He said, so, 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 has been demoted and she has been removed. Amen. Said she had been moved from this location. The person that told me before I left, I saw an email. And I knew that something was coming. But I told myself, I said, as the Lord liveth, in whom I standed. And I've not done any man evil. I said, we'll go back to send and I left it like that. When she said it, the whole of my body shivered. My hair stood up on my head. Like, am I dreaming? I looked again. Am I at the right side? Did I, am I still dreaming? But today I'm supposed to resume. And I just walked to my seat. And I sat down. The one who sits on the throne of the universe. Whether he's sitting on your promotion, they will vomit it. I said, whoever is sitting on your promotion, ah, they will be dethroned. Because why? My God sits on the throne of the universe. He's the one in charge, not any man. Job 42, verse 2. There you can do anything. And no plan of yours can be thwarted. Hallelujah. I know that you can do what? Anything. This was Job. He came to that realization. A man that lost everything in one day. And yet God gave him back everything double. Praise the name of the Lord. Gave him back double of every single thing that he lost. In uh, NLT say, I know that you can do anything. And no one can stop you. Our God is unstoppable. Hallelujah. Our God is un unstoppable. No one can stop him. If anyone can stop our God, then this is our great nation. Some of our scientists would have stopped God. Praise the name of the Lord. They would have stopped the moon from doing its work. Hallelujah. They would have gone into the sun and said, Son, today we don't want you to shine. But our God is on, will stop people. King Nebuchadnezzar felt, Oh, this is my Babylon that I have built for myself. But by the time the Lord sent him into animal kingdom for seven years, by the time he came back, he said, No! I, King Nebuchadnezzar, acknowledge, magnify, the God of heaven. You know, each time I read that scripture, I look and I say, this is a wonder. It's one of the questions I will ask when I get to heaven. 
Because for a man, the president of a nation, to go into the in animal kingdom for seven years, and nobody replaced him. It can only be God. Turned him into an animal. I said, if he had just left it like that, uh, they would have said, yes, he was turned into an animal, and that's it. But he turned him back into human to show who his supremacy. That I can do anything at my will. I can toil with any man at any time. Because of our time, I will stop with the fourth one. The parameters of our God. Numbers 23 verse 19. Numbers 23, 19. <laughs> God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Has he said, and shall he not do it? Or has he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Hallelujah. For everyone seated here, including myself, all of us have lied at one point. Praise the name of the Lord. Lied before we became born again. Lied even after we, we received him as our Lord and Savior. Praise the name of the Lord. But our God cannot do what? He cannot lie. He cannot lie. Once he says it, it will make sure there is a performance. If he say I will heal, he will heal. If he say I will bring joy, he brings joy. He says I will promote, he will promote. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. Shall he say and will he not come? Make it come. Make it good. Make it come to pass. I like the song. You know, this chorus, uh, Mother in the Lord always sing. Say, I've never seen this kind God before. Wonder, 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 wonder. I've never seen, I've never seen. Oh, wonder, wonder, wonder. wonder. Jesus, now wow. Jesus now why oh Jesus now why oh Jesus now why oh I've never seen this kind of God before wonder 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 the one that can make a prisoner sleep tonight as a prisoner I'm sure the owner the the, the one who was keeping him Say you, you are here. This is where we will still we enjoy life here continuously. And by the following morning, became the prime minister in a strange land. He broke every order. They will say you cannot be president except you are born here. Praise the name of the Lord. But he broke that order. A, a foreign man, a slave boy that was brought in as a slave, broke it. <laughs> the Lord is breaking protocol. For somebody in the name of Jesus. Hebrews chapter 6 18. Hebrews 6 18. That by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us. Hallelujah. God is saying this to somebody. This day. You are saying to yourself, it's like I'm a failure all around. I've tried, I've tried, I've tried. But God is saying, he says, so God has given both his, his throat. These two things are unchangeable. Because it is impossible for God to lie. Hallelujah. Therefore, we who have fled to him for refuge have great confidence as we hold to the hope that lies before us. Sirs, I said to you this day, there is hope before you. You are not dead 
All hope is not lost. Hallelujah. Because he has given his promise and his hope. And because he cannot lie. Hold on to it. Hallelujah. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Pastor Taiwo gave a testimony. Each time I remember, it's not a testimony. He gave, a, you know, one, one of the trainings that he went, and that the, the man came, an African, and he said, you know, this is my desire. Somebody could not pronounce his name. His professor could not pronounce his name. And the professor was just, you know, insulting him anyhow. And he looked and he said, don't worry. You will see me. My God is coming back. He's in New Jersey as one of mayor of hallelujah. What can God not do? The same professor that said could not call his name. We call his name by first now. Hallelujah. The God of heaven is stepping in. You are receiving double for your shame. You are receiving double honor for the ridicule. In fact, for some, it's sevenfold honor for the ridicule. Everywhere you have turned, and they look at you because they already marked that label. You cannot go beyond this. What are you saying? They will see you this year, this month of unusual wonders, and they will say, ah, something has happened. In the name of Jesus. Those who have stolen from you, whether husband, whether wife, I issue a decree from this altar. They have taken a strange thing and the God of heaven starts to fight them. It is a painful thing for a woman to labor. And you know that this man has his own wife and his own children. And you decide that that is the same man you want to marry. And you displace the rightful owner. I stand on this altar. The game is over. Amen. The game is over. Amen. Whatever they have been given, cooked and say, oh, you will continue. The tide is turning around. <laughs> the Lord is overturning it because there will be no more peace until an amendment is done. Hallelujah. As we pray, we want to go back to that Joshua chapter 24 and we will read verse 15. Joshua 24, verse 15. You can read the uh, King James but, Version. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, <coughs> whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Praise the Lord. All that we have talked about is contingent on obedience. Sir, you are the head of your household. He's just saying that that authority he has given unto them. Not for them to abuse, but because of the responsibilities that they will carry as the father, as the husband, as the brother, they have to be strong. And so he gave them that command, that grace. It is time for those who are not walking as head indeed to stand up as fathers indeed. Joshua said, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the God of your fathers on the other side. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. It is time for our men to arise. You are not just a father to your biological children. You are a father to all. A father figure to some of our children on the streets. 
Praise the name of the Lord. And I want to appeal to somebody here hearing my voice. Make a commitment and say I will be a mentor for a child. And I want you to pray and say, Lord, open my eyes to that child that I will be a mentor to. A father figure. Because it goes a long way. Some of these children, they've lost their parents, their fathers. They're in prison. There's no father figure. And so they just do anything. They don't even believe in themselves anymore. And they believe that they cannot amount to anything. But as you arise, as you arise as God's servant, and you guide what God has given to you as a father in your own household, and you now say, now I'm going to mentor somebody. I'm going to identify a child, a male child, that I will be there for. I will support, I will pray, I will encourage. I will go and pick that child sometimes and say, come. I want you to come and, uh, you know, with us as a family. And you begin to pour into this life. Heaven will bless you for it. I want us to rise. Because the blessing that we are talking about is not just for you alone. It's for generations to come. And say, I will pay your school fees for this year. And I pray for that child. Support that male child. That is not your own biological child. And say, Lord, I am using this as a seed. And see whether that seed will not speak for you. And I know that it will speak for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please rest, rise. Joshua said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. It doesn't matter what our society is saying. It doesn't matter whether men are marrying men. Women are going with women. I will serve the Lord. Hallelujah. I will serve the Lord. It is a choice. It is a choice. I make up my mind that I will not be a troublemaker. It is a choice. It is a choice. So the Lord is saying, my parameters are so many. There is nothing I cannot do, son, daughter. There is nothing. But I want you to know it is contingent on you serving me. You recognize who I am. And then I will show up on your behalf. Obedience. 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 I want you to lift your voice to the Lord this afternoon. Wherever the Holy Spirit is ministering to you where you need to make amends, you want to ask him for, for mercy, for grace this day. Just ask him. We will serve the Lord. 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 Me and my house, you will encourage your children, your wife, your household to serve the Lord. To serve the Lord. And the Lord will beautify you. He will qualify you. He will qualify you. And as you make that commitment, the Lord will turn tight around for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to say two prayer points. Praise the name of the Just two prayers. The God who sits on the throne of the universe, the one whose supremacy is unrestricted, you are going to cry to him this afternoon. And you are going to tell him, sit over the affairs of my life, the affairs of my home. Sit over the God that sits on the throne of the universe. Master Karaba, Lebron Kalebro. Robrando Kosuto Rama Shakatara Baba Sik attend the Lebro. See it, see it over. The affairs of this your children. Please pray. He says, As you have spoken in my ears, I will do. Make the pronouncement. The God that the only one that sits on the throne of the universe sits over my affairs. Sit over the affairs of your daughters and your sons. Lord, sit over the affairs according to. Sit 
it over their fears, oh Lord. The God of the universe, Masokora Shekete, the only one that sits on the throne of the universe, sits over their fears of your daughters and your son, their fears of their homes, their fears of their children, their fears, oh Lord, in their career, their businesses, oh Lord. Oh, Masikamo, Shatoroba Kumbala Kasundorobo, Rebrandaka Sataleke Lebro Shikatorobo Sundorobo, Lo Sitova, Makali Makashinde Rebo, Rebro Kosundo Kolobro Koshinde Kelebro Sotoroba Shekele, Oh, sit over the affairs of your daughters and your son, over the affairs of your life, oh God. The God, the only one that sits on the throne of the universe. The one that cannot be dethroned, the one that was not voted in, sit over the affairs of your children because of who you are, because of your namesake, because of your mercy. Sit over, oh Lord, sit over the affairs of your children, the affairs of their life, the affairs of their grandchildren. Lord, sit over the affairs of their life. Oh Lord, my father, that your daughter that is weary, Makabo Shantorobo, Libra Kasunto Korobo Sheketelebro, I speak strength into that body now in the name of Jesus. This is like you are giving up. You are giving up. You are saying, Lord, let it be. Makoraba Shakorima Sikatala Brakasenderebo. Receive new strength in the name of Jesus. Because of who our Father is. Thank you, ancient of days. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And the last prayer point is that's in Hebrews chapter 6 where we read in verse 18. He says, so God has given both his promise and his hope. These two things are unchangeable. Because it is impossible for God to lie. So God has given what? Both his promise and his oath. And these two things are unchangeable. Because it is impossible for God to lie. Therefore, we flee, we have fled to him for refuge. Hallelujah. We have fled. To him for refuge. Therefore, we have great confidence. Hallelujah. Amen. We have great confidence as we hold on to the hope that lies before us. You are going to say, my father, my Lord, you have given your word. You have given your promise and your hope concerning me. And these two things are unchangeable. And because it is impossible for you to lie, therefore, I flee into you. Father, keep me. Keep me, O oh Lord. I hold on to the hope. I hold on to the hope. I hold on to the hope that is set before me. Masekechelebro Koshekete, you are given your promise. You are given your heart. And because these two things cannot change, because it is impossible for you to lie, I flee into you. I flee with my children. I flee with my husband. We flee into you, Lord, for refuge. For refuge. For refuge. And we hold on to the hope. I hold on to the hope. The hope that lies before me. Masakori Mashantorobo. Ribranaka Sotora Mashekelebro. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Today, the Holy Ghost, the hand, the almighty hand of God himself will touch you. Amen. Please, all, if you can rise, rise. And just lift your hands to heaven. It was Sister Fumi that was being ministered to. But our, our sister kid into it. And the everlasting harm touched her. Makorobo sombaka sekete lebro korima shika kalebrande. 
Behold the hands of your children. My Lord and my Father, as these hands are lifted above their heads, I decree, lift them out, O Lord, of every miry clay, of every dark situation. Father, lift them up, O Lord, to glory, for accomplishment, for grace, for relevance, for good works, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, especially for the men, that the mantle that came upon Elisha made him to do greater exploit than Elijah. That mantle come upon them. They take their stand as men of honor. They take their stand as men of valor. That from now, they stand out for you. And I speak over there, you will not lose your relevance. In the mighty name of Jesus. Fresh relevance every day. New relevance every day. The height that you are now that you are saying, oh God, I thank you for this height. We be the least of where God is taking you to. In the name of Jesus. I call for repositioning for those that need to shift now. In the name of Jesus. Reposition spiritually. Oh, masambo to lima kabo shata la karaba. Libro ko sundaraba. Le karaba shikende lebro sumba ka sundaraba. The Lord said, let there be light, and there was light. I speak light into that darkness that is hovering around that brother. Makande lebro kumba yika sikate. Rebrando ko shekete. Every step that you are taking, it's as if as you take the step, confusion will come in between. Masatoro, but the light of God come upon you now. Surround you now in the mighty name of Jesus. You will no longer miss your steps in the name of Jesus. The God that sits on the throne of the universe, the womb with supremacy is unrestricted. Visit you anew. Do you good. I commend you unto this God that from now it's a new day, a new dawn in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Let's appreciate that.